Here we have a cheeky little 2012 Fiat 500 Twin Air in black with the black alloys and the checkered roof. The car's in nice condition with just a few little age related marks. Front tyre looking at around 2mm, uh, that would be quite close to changing. Um, front alloy does appear to be in nice condition with no signs of any curbing or any scuff marks at all. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, the paintwork does look very nice, no dinks or dents at all. Mirror is nice and clean. Driver's door is very clean as well, with just a couple of light scratches, most of which are around the door handle anyway. A couple of touchstones required on the door edge, you've got some very minor little nicks there. Apart from that though, it's very clean. Offside rear quarter again, just a couple of light scratches. A little bit of scuff on the rear quarter, again, everything very uh, very simple to do, nothing major. Uh, rear tyre, looking at around 3mm. And the rear alloy is also in nice condition, with no curb marks or any scuffs to the alloy. Moving towards the rear of the car itself, looking at the back of the boot, no damage at all there, and the rear bumper is also very clean and tidy. There is a couple of light scratches um, to the tailgate, again should require polish, no problems at all there, and a little bit of a scuff on the near side rear quarter. Let's take a look inside the boot, nice clean condition there, as you can see you do get your spare wheel and all your bits and bobs. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, and again you're looking at around 3 to 4 mil. And the rear alloy is also in nice condition with no curb marks or any scuffs. Looking down the near side of the vehicle itself, we've got a very small dink on the passenger door. Apart from that, no signs of any dents. Touchings required on the door edge, as you can see, and again a couple of light scratches. A little very minor dink there. Taking a quick look at the roof, you can see it's a nice funky checkered design. Moving on to the front tyre, looking at around 2mm again and quite a lot of wear into the outer edge so the two front tyres are very close to changing and the front alloy does appear to be in nice condition bit of a minor kerb on that one side as you can see but that's it really Stone chips to the front of the bumper just require some touchings and one or two very minor stone chips to the bonnet as well but no signs of any damage at all to the front bumper Take a look inside the vehicle Nice condition inside, you can see you've got the uh, leather and the sort of cloth, very nice condition. Seats look very well, there's no signs of any damage at all. Take a look in the back seats, again you can see great condition there, no damage, no rips, tears, etc. Very tidy little car inside. Front passenger seats in nice condition as well. And the dashboard etc looks very clean and tidy and the car inside is looking very well. Uh, probably need some new mats, you can see they're worn away a bit. No holes there in the footwell though. Step inside the vehicle itself. Now you do get two sets of keys, as you can see. And if we just get the car started. As you can see there, starts first time with no issues at all. No symbols appearing on the dash there that you need to be aware of at all. Multifunction steering wheel as well, works perfectly fine. Look at the system, you've got radio, CD. Sounds great, no problems at all functioning in that. As you can see down here as well, um, you've got um, all your blowers, etc. Air conditioning works perfectly fine, I can tell you that. It's coming out nice and cold. No problems at all with any of the blowers. Minor transmission. Looking at the mileage, you've got 19,937, so low mileage. Look at the V5 for the car. The car, the owner, uh, the car, uh, sorry, the car has had two owners. Obviously, it doesn't have an MOT. The MOT will be required on the 30th of the 4th, 2015. And we do have full service history. Um, it is non-franchise. Done at 13,867 miles. There we go, guys. It's the real cheeky little Fiat 500. It's 2012, and it is the twin air as well. Really nice finish to the car. Very nice looking vehicle as well, just a few age-related marks, but a uh, nice car.